Before we dig into GarageBand's capabilities, I wanted to share an essential command that allows you to play notes with your computer's keyboard. Even if you don't have a USB MIDI controller to play notes, Command K is a shortcut to open musical typing right on your computer. First, let's open GarageBand by finding it in the Finder window and then dropping it onto our dock. From our dock, we can click GarageBand and we'll get a pop-up window. For now, we want to select a new, empty project and we'll hit Choose. Once it's open, press Command K and you're all ready to play some notes. So now, let's break it down. Number 1. The Notes This section shows you which notes correspond to letters on your computer's keyboard. Note that both white notes and black notes are included. On the left, we have the Sustain Pedals action, which you can activate by pressing and holding Tab while playing some notes. Number 2. The Octave Switch the keys Z and X allow us to go to a higher or lower octave, giving us more notes to play with. Press Z to go lower and X to go higher on the keyboard. Right next to this is a velocity section, which means how hard or soft the note will be played. Number 3. Pitch Bend and Modulation Many keyboards have two knobs to change the pitch and sound of your instrument. Just like these knobs, by pressing 1 and 2, the pitch of the instrument will go up or down. 3 through 8 corresponds to the modulation wheel, which generally affects the sound of the instrument in some way. I generally recommend getting a USB MIDI controller like this in order to play more effectively, but this is a quick and easy way of getting some notes. If you're interested in finding a MIDI controller, they are generally pretty cheap and as soon as you plug it in via a USB port, you're set to play some notes. So now that you know how to get some notes out of GarageBand, let's get to the different panels and see what else you can do.